My name is Dr. Ellis Lowe, and I'm a physiologist in the Vet College at Cornell University in New York. There are defects that occur in the pathways between the ear and the brain. And if those defects are present, then the animal is deaf. Most of these are congenital, so they're there during development, something goes wrong, and the animals are born deaf. However, you can't tell necessarily that they're deaf simply from their behavior when they're just little pups. So many years ago, a test was developed, originally for humans, that basically measures the electrical response of the ear and the early brain centers when you give a stimulus. So the stimulus we use is a click. You may be able to hear that. Okay. And every time that clicks, it stimulates the cells in the inner ear they fire nerve impulses that travel along a nerve to another group of cells. They fire, pass that information to another group of cells, and a daisy chains its way along. These brain impulses, or these nerve impulses, travel along, and if everything is fine, what you get is a seri uh, series of waves. I think you already saw what they look like. And each one of these waves corresponds to that information traveling along the nerve pathway if you find that the animal has some congenital defect you don't see those waves at all but you get a flat line and one of the things that can happen it can be both ears or it can just be one ear okay so this is particularly helpful in differentiating between you know a dog that doesn't seem to respond really well versus one that has only one side functioning versus normal for most of the people who do the test, it's very inexpensive. The animal is not anesthetized. It's not even sedated. And the owner's with the animal all the time. And it's essentially painless. And do any number of dogs. It's a quick test.